WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. So, too, are each of the sectors with inside the S&P 500. The Dow's off 240 points. That's about 7 tenths percent. S&P 25 points, 6 tenths. 6 tenths for the Nasdaq 100, 75 points. Russell's off a half a percent or 10 points. Semi's down 1 and 2 tenths percent. That's 37 points. Gold is off 2 bucks. Silver is basically flat. Lights we crude is off 15 pennies. Natural gas is flat. 30-year Treasury down 18 ticks. She's spread it out at 125.21. Let's go take a look at what all this may mean. First thing we've got is the ES Mini upper left-hand side. What you will see is a new profile that is attempting to form. Attempting to form because we're using Stevie's advanced Doppler tool. It detects profiles that are attempting to form. We don't get confirmation until the contract opens back up in the following evening. That'd be six o'clock tonight. But right now, what we do know is where buyers and sellers are lined up. And they're lined up at 4086. Those are the buyers, the sellers at 4175. So we've got a pretty narrow trading range that quite frankly today, the ES Mini has pretty much traveled with inside that entire range. Very similar to the Dow. Those of you that have been watching the show may remember the Dow has been consolidating with inside. It's fairly narrow ranged profiles for the last uh, two to three weeks out there. If you take a look at spot volatility, still well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That, that puts the wind at the sales of the bulls for the S&P 500. The NQ is still above the top of its daily profile. It's neutral, does have resistance at 12, 949.75. The U.S. dollar index is attempting to generate an A to B equals CD to the upside. If it does close the day above 103.85, then its next target should be in the 105.56 area. Goldilocks moving at tad lower and looks like it wants to target the 1827 level that's its td9 count breakout support area silver may want to target 2104 that's the next td9 count breakout support level if we take a look at light speed crude just really not doing much just consolidating with inside its daily profile really primarily over the last four or five days it's been between the center and top of that bearish structured profile that's between 7766 and 8068 the uh, natural gas contract, this is the April contract we're looking at. It does have a buy the D point pattern. That would be negated with a close below $2.44. Right now, price is dealing with profile resistance levels. That's up at 262, 277, then 287. The 30 year Treasury trading below profile may be targeting its swing low from December 30th at the 124.11 area. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you have to start your Thursday, Please have a terrific one. Take care. We'll see you soon.